what's good youtube my name is shay welcome to my channel manifesting with karmic psych gal here i discuss manifesting the life that you deserve to have my process through ascension and of course spirituality in general if you're new here thanks for joining me i am so glad to have you here with me go ahead and like this video if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever i post now, if you are a part of the spiritual family, hi, I'm so glad to be back in this space with you guys. As you can see from this title of this video today, I am going to be discussing more numbers and I've really been called to get even more into numerology than I thought I was. Okay, before I was really just studying the knife path number, but it turns out that we have way more than just one number that really describes our life and it can assist us in personal growth if you guys have ever heard of the pythagorean theory um it's like a math term there was a person named pythagoras and he came up with this concept that says everything that exists can be expressed as a number and with that being said that means that all of us carry numerological energy and at the end of the day we are all science we're all atoms here okay and that can be expressed as any number i'm gonna jump in to talk about the different numbers there are six of them okay and each one of them expresses a different side of your personality and can really lead you into feeling more close and even be confirmation to what you're doing right now and if you're on purpose you are it's all part of the journey but we'll get there so the first number is the attitude number the attitude number is really your presentation it's most similar to your sun sign so this is kind of like what it is that you think you're giving off to other people your attitude number can also be expressed as the type of achievements that you have you can find this number by adding together your birth date and month and the attitude number is only expressed as numbers one through nine so if you have a birthday, if it goes over than that, then you just have to reduce it. Um, next is the life path number, which you guys are most familiar with on my channel. Your life path is going to talk about your life purpose and the lessons behind that. It also highlights some of your true talents and abilities. You can find your life path number by reducing the month, day, and year of your birth and then adding them together. So first, you would add up the birthday. Let's say my birthday was July 15th, 1975. July is number seven. And then you want to take number five, 1975. You would add those numbers all up together, just like this. And then you would bring them down until they got to one of the numbers of one through nine. Unless the number equaled 22 33 or 11 which that is considered a master number now master numbers you can find these in your chart even if you are not a master number so it's something that you want to look for if you see those double digits in your chart because this is what we call the triangle of enlightenment master numbers have a higher soul purpose and they're power numbers so they are really going to be sent here to cause huge change transformation and make a big impact in the world the next number we're going to talk about is your soul urge number okay your soul urge is really important because it's all about the things you're passionate about your heart's deepest desire what it is that your heart wants and wishes for so all your dreams or hopes are really into the soul urge number and what is going to bring you into harmony with them so to get the full so urge number, you'll need your full birth name. So that's first, middle, and last name. Let's put it up here. Um, for today's purposes, I won't be using my name because I don't want anybody using my identity. But let's say your name was Ashley Nicole Smith, okay? And you use only vowels. So I would only take the letters in Ashley Nicole Smith that are vowels and I would bring them down. And each vowel here is associated with a number. You add those numbers together and then you reduce them down and that is how you get your soul urge number, 
okay? The next number is your destiny number. Now, your destiny number is really important because this is going to describe your approach to life and the way that you decide to live. It's very going to be heavily focused on your lifestyle and it's really going to highlight the things that you could be doing that will be more in alignment with your purpose. Um, the destiny number is really the how. How are you going to do it? And you know, that's not a question that I normally usually ask. I like to ask what questions, but if the universe is telling you how, wouldn't you want to know? So in order to get the destiny number, this is based off of your traits and characteristics and things. And that is going to make up how it is that you approach life and decide to live it. You will also need your full birth name again. So we're going to use Ashley Nicole Smith, but with the destiny number, this time we are using um only consonants These are associated with certain numbers which i will put here and you again add those together any two digit numbers that you get you add the two digits first reduce them and then bring them down and then you add them all together the la very last number is your personality number. Um, and this is a really important because it's how you are perceived. Not that I really care anymore about how people are perceiving me or looking at me. It's kind of no, nice to know how others are experiencing your energy. You can choose to change if you want it to. This is a number that can really be used as a tool for self-reflection because sometimes we look at ourselves and we can't really see past our own ego. We can't understand when other people are telling us things about ourselves that they may not agree with or understand. And it's really nice to just have the facts here when it's not a physical person attached to telling you to get your shit together. <laughs> so your personality number it's going to be all about your mind, your thoughts, and your opinions. Um, well, not yours, but how other people perceive you. This time, you're going to do the same thing. Every number has a letter attached to it. This one's consonants only. The other one was the full alphabet. I'm sorry. That was the full alphabet. But this one is consonants only. And you'll do the same thing. You'll Each number is assigned with specific consonants. You bring the numbers down, you reduce them, and you get them. Now, I, of course, am not a fucking mathematician or an accountant, even though I did go to school for accounting for three months. It, baby, get yourself online, go to Google, and you can literally search attitude number calculator, life path number calculator. The source that was the most helpful for me was mattbeach.com because you can look up all the numbers on that site. You can put in the information and they will do the math for you, baby. And then they will even give you a full explanation on those numbers and you can see other people's numbers. So maybe like somebody you're in a relationship with or even your parents, if you're having difficulty in their relationship, something I love to do and I encourage all of my friends that are parents is to look into the astrology of their kids because this is literally a tool from the universe to help you raise them and understand them better because now that you know i've been parenting for almost 10 years i feel like i'm really starting to realize that me being a parent is really just about me getting to know my kid and supporting them um and this is a healthy way to do that is through astrology and through numerology you know i don't play um now a couple other numbers we're going to talk about though and one of them is just your birthday number. That means that my birthday is the 23rd of August. So my birthday number is 23. Your birthday number is all about your gifts. These are the things that you were given that you agreed the skills to have when you came into this lifetime. And being aware of what those are are only going to put you in more alignment when you're taking advantage of using those skills to your knowledge. Um, another number that is really important to know is the karmic debt number. Now, your karmic debt is going to be lessons that you are still learning from your past life, okay? This is going to be very much reincarnation energy. 
So what your karmic debt is, it's like whatever imbalance that was carried over from your past life or lives, um, then you are going to have a karmic debt number. Now, everyone does not have a karmic debt number. When you use your birth date, if your birth date is automatically either the 13th through the 19th, you have karmic debt, period. You have karmic debt, period. If it's your personality of one, four, five, or seven, you also have karmic debt. And when you pull up the numbers, you'll be able to see if you have it or not. Everyone actually doesn't have a karmic debt number. Only specific people do. But it's very important to know if you do and just to figure out what it is that is holding you back because that is what karmic energy is. It's just like cycles that we continue to keep repeating and most people they keep repeating cycles because they're just not self-aware enough so these are literally tools from the universe to help you be more reflective and more intentional about who you choose to be and what will fulfill your purpose what will bring you the most fulfillment in life um and the karmic debt number is just is not to be used to make yourself feel bad or to sabotage yourself it's really only so that you can really pay attention and focus and it's going to highlight some of those lessons that you've been trying to learn and struggling and it's really just a tool to help you learn and grow from those experiences okay those are all the numbers and in the numerology report which i will be posting up to my website today fullmoonbeauties.com when this video goes live and you will be able to book a reading i think i'm gonna make it an hour long reading um just so that i can really go into detail about each number um and it's going to be good. I'll let you guys know for sure. If you want to book with me, like I said, you can head over to my website, which is linked below in the description box. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.